Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the modes of recording, like how many types of recording is there in the QTP. So, there are three types of recording modes in the QTP. The first one is normal recording mode. The second is analog recording mode. And the third is low level recording mode. So, the, these are the three types of recording modes that are supported by the QTP. So, the first one is normal recording mode. In this mode, QTP records the objects in your application and the operations performed on that. So, in this recording mode, QTP works onto the objects and its description. So, as we have seen in the last video, we did the recording and that is the normal recording mode. By default, QTP supports this type of recording, which done, done on the object and its properties. The second is the analog recording mode. This enables you to record the exact mouse and keyboard operation that you perform in relation to either the screen or the application. So, this recording mode works onto the mouse and keyboard movement. The third one is low level recording. In this recording, QTP records the exact position of the objects or you can say that it works onto the coordinates of the object. So, these are the three different recording modes. The first one is normal recording mode which is the default recording mode in the QTP. The second one is analog recording mode and the third one is low level recording mode. Let's see each uh, recording mode in details with the example. As we have already seen the normal recording in our previous video where the recording is done on the objects and its properties and all the objects with its descriptions get stored in the object repositories and the steps gets returned in the QTP editor uh, with respect to the browser. So th that is the normal recording. So let's look on to the analog and the low level recording. So as we discussed analog recording records the mouse and the keyboard keyboard movement. So, sometimes uh, it happens that uh, normal recording doesn't work all, always. Like uh, say, let's say you want to record the mouse movement of some signature kind of thing. Let's say this is the mouse movement and you want to record this. Like what is the movement of the mouse? So, this cannot be done using the normal uh, recording mode as it doesn't uh, capture the properties of the object. So, in this case, what we did, we did the no analog recording because it captures the movement of the mouse and you can uh, easily verify that uh, mouse goes this way and this way and your results get passed in this case. Let's look this recording from the QTP itself. So, to record the script in analog recording, you have to first press the record thing, do the settings, whatever uh, you are doing here like to mention the address of the URL and mention the browser then press OK. Ok. Now after the recording mode is on then only you are able to select either analog recording mode or low level recording mode. So here is the option either you press this icon analog recording mode or you can select it from automation and then analog recording mode. Now it prompts for the two options. The first one is with respect to screen and another one is with respect to window. So, when you select this option record relative to the screen. So, in this case you perform on the objects located within one window and that window does not move during the analog recording session. So, this ensures that during the run session QTP will accurately identify the window location on which the analog steps were performed even uh, the window is in a different location. So, if you select this option record relative to the screen, it will record with respect to your this screen. Okay. The next is record relative to the following window. So, in this case you have option to select the respective window. So, just press this icon and hand icon and just press the let's say suppose this window. So, here the window title gets displayed. Now, 
recording will be done with respect to your window let's start with this only with respect to window and then start analog record now perform any operations flight only let's say the same operations that we have done in the previous clip one way and then sfo then provide some dallas let's say uh, we have uh, recorded only this test then go back to your uh, tool now see no lines get recorded over here in the analog recording mode when you stop the recording then only you will able to see the lines that is recorded in this mode so just stop the record okay now go back to the tool and see this window windows internet explorer run analog and track one so this line will get recorded so this is the case when we have recorded with respect to the window so whatever the window that we have selected from the option gets displayed over here with respect to window now this is the method that is used for analog recording analog recording and this is the track one what is this this is the file okay in which the analog recording gets displayed now there is one disadvantage of this recording is that you cannot edit the analog recording steps from the quick test why because all the steps gets recorded into one file and that file is track one you are not able to add it this so whatever that you have recorded at one time only that operations get recorded into the analog recording mode so the steps recorded using analog recording are saved in a separate data file this file is stored with the action so here in this case one track file is created so i have saved the test uh, with the name analog recording window at this path h drive demo script analog recording window so just go to this path i'll go to this path so this is my test analog recording window open it, this test and within this action one you'll see this file analog track list dot that this file will get created whenever you do the analog recording mode so you cannot edit this file as this is a dat file and you cannot edit this file in a qtp so this is one of its major drawback that you cannot edit the analog recording mode so the other another option is for the analog recording mode you can record this with respect to a screen let's look at this option now i have selected this option record relative to the screen then click on the start analog recording now perform the operations let's say select this flight only option then select the one way and then provide the value let's say sfo then then let's let that's it for the recording then just stop the recording now you see in this case in the screen case the different line will get added to your recording so this is the case when we have selected the option for screen the only difference is we have recorded with respect to the whole screen that's why the desktop gets added to this and in this case we have recorded with respect to the window that's why the window is here but in both the cases quick test edge this run analog statement that calls the recorded analog file again this is the track file dat file that gets saved into our um, te qtp test and it's saved with this run analog statement so analog recording will store the recorded steps in this case okay now let's look to the low level recording option for low level recording again you have to press this record option just set select the settings press okay then once the record is on then you have to select this icon either this icon for low level recording or you can select the option from automation and then low level recording just perform the operations on the application let's say select this flight only option then select the one way enter some value sfo then let's put out the dallas okay uh, let's say search some flight search some flight 
okay and then click on the search slide that's it for the recording and just press the stops button see some lines gets added to your recording i'll show you this in detail so these are the lines that gets captured when you did the low level recording as i discussed with you that this recording works on to the coordinate so as you have seen it treats each and every object as a window and win object see it treats each object as a window and it works on the coordinate see it has clicked the this coordinate this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate so it stores all the objects uh, uh, with the exact location of that operation so here again it clicks on some location then it types the value again it clicks on the location and it types on the some so this is what the low level recording is which works on to the coordinate so if uh, in the normal mode basically qtp performs the steps on the object but if the location is important for your test you want to actually verify the exact location of the uh, object use this type of low level recording in the low level recording each uh, operations that you performed on the application gets converted into a single step whereas in the analog recording only one line gets recorded with this um, recording so we have seen these three types of recording if uh, we discuss about the summary and the difference between each recording is so the very first thing is uh, normal recording it works on to the object and its properties okay whereas analog recording works on to the sorry mouse and keyboard movement it doesn't works on to your object and if uh, i asked about the low level recording it works on to the coordinates it actually works on to the coordinates and normal recording you can edit the steps that is recorded here in analog recording you can't edit the steps because it gets recorded into one dat file in low level recording yes you can edit the steps okay now suppose uh, this is your application okay and this is your text box okay so uh, there is a test case to verify whether this text box appear at the top right corner or not so which recording works here you want to check the exact location of the object so in this case this low level recording if you want to verify the exact location of this edit box use the low level recording now there is a next test case you want to check the properties of the object whether the name of this object is let's say xyz or not so in this case the normal recording works if you want to verify the object with its properties use normal recording whereas in the analog recording only you can test the mouse and the keyboard movement so use analog recording where the normal mode doesn't works for example in the signature kind of test whereas if you want to test the exact location of the object you can check the low level recording so this is all about the recording and its the different modes in the qtp you can test each and every modes in the qtp thank you